What's good, everybody? Jericho Green. I'm still here, still not done with the left. And today, <laughs> man, we got to talk about white liberal guilt, white liberals in general. They have struck a game. Anne Hathaway. God damn it, woman. Why did you have to do and just why'd you have to say something so stupid? So stupid. Liberals see black people as their little pets, their little kids that they just pat on the head. Here's a little money every month. Run along. Pull that lever for us and shut the fuck up. That's how they see us. They see us as these helpless, scared little. <gasps> What's that? Oh my shadow oh my god was that a police officer oh my god is that a white person walking down the street toward me what the fuck man it's not like that here's a tweet that she sent out today and everybody knows about that poor girl who was murdered in oakland uh nia wilson well here is ann hathaway's take on that it says and i quote the murder of nia wilson may she rest in power and peace she was denied here is unspeakable and must not, that's in all caps, be met with silence. She's not a hashtag. She was a black woman who was murdered in cold blood by a white man. White people, including me, including you, must take it into the marrow of our privileged white bones, the truth that all black people, that's in caps, you, all black people live in fear for their lives daily in America and have done so for generations. White people do not have equivalents for this fear of violence. Given those givens, because it's a given, we must ask our white selves, how decent, in quotation marks, are we really? Not in our intent, but in our actions. Peace and prayers and justice for Nia and the Wilson family. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. No, they don't, unless it's taken by a white person. Hashtag anti-racist. Hashtag no excuse. Hashtag say her name. Hashtag earn the right to say her name. So I guess, I guess if you're white, you can't say Nia Wilson's name. So if you've been saying it, you better stop. Because you can't. Because you're white. And white people can't say that. So, <laughs> if it wasn't so sad... It might actually be funny, but it's just ridiculous and it's infuriating that that's how liberals, white liberals, see us. And you know, black liberals too. They both see regular black people as just these fearful little huddled masses that anything that moves, anything that's white, it scares the shit out of us and we can't handle it. That's a bunch of bullshit. I am not afraid of anybody based on their color. Now, if you're running up and down the street, butt naked, smearing your own shit on your chest, yeah, I might be a little scared of you. But in my everyday life, walking down the street, going to war, being with my family, I don't fear white people. I don't fear white police. I don't fear anything. I'm a grown ass man. I don't fear anything. I'm married with a family. If there's a noise at night, I gotta go out in the hallway in the dark by myself and defend my family against whatever the hell that is. So I'm not afraid of white people. I'm not afraid of violence from white people. And what happened to that girl was a tragedy. Should color have anything to do with it? I don't think it plays into it. This dude just sounds like a real piece of shit who took somebody's life. Happens all the time. Where are all these dumbass hashtags for Tyshawn Lee, this little black kid in Chicago who was shot seven times? Oh, he was killed by a black person. Nobody gives a shit. Little girl in North Carolina, she was murdered inside of her bedroom while she was doing her homework. Nobody gives a shit because she was killed by a black person. So on and so on and so forth. There's 7,000 plus homicides every year committed by black people against other black people. So don't give me this bullshit about we fear violence from white people. If you want to go by the numbers, another black person is my main threat. Not just some white person walking down the street. We're not afraid. White folks who are listening or watching, who may believe this kind of bullshit, who may believe this liberal nonsense, this liberal spittle, it's not true. 
Black folks are not afraid of white people. Black folks do not have a tough road to hoe in America. We got it just like everybody else. My brother, multiple degrees, multiple master's degrees, stellar service in the military, owns more than one home, beautiful family, multiple cars. Does that sound like he has it bad in America? Hell fuck no he doesn't. And there's millions of other black people in America who don't have it the way the liberal left, the liberal establishment, the elites, the media want you to believe that we have it. We are not afraid. Afraid of what? What are you afraid of? We're afraid of the same things that everybody else is afraid of. Bad health, accidents, death, coming across some crazy piece of shit you got to deal with. Most people, the overwhelming majority of people in America got the same damn fears, if any. Black people are not a scared race of people. We are not a mindless, childish race of people who need the white liberal to lead us around and show us where to go and tell us when to eat, what to eat, when to go to bed, what time to go to bed, where to live, what to wear. Just like everybody else, we live our lives without fear of anything. Stop this ridiculous bullshit. Hollywood, sit your ass down and shut the fuck up. And what's really scary about this, Anne Hathaway has 12.1 million followers on Twitter. Please tell me the majority of those people just follow her to hear the ridiculous shit, ridiculous shit that comes from her fingertips. Please. Oh, to God, she doesn't have 12.1 million people that think the ridiculous nonsense that she does. Black people are not afraid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who believes this shit? Was there a time in history when black people feared for their safety? Yeah, that was a long ass time ago. And there aren't many people alive who had to deal with that. We've come a long way, baby, a long way. Why don't we talk about that? Why don't we talk about how long, how far we've come instead of how far we have to go? Which really isn't that far, if any distance at all. Pretty even playing field, y'all. I'll be back next time they say something stupid. You know who I am, Jericho Green. I'm out.